Hey YouTube, so I want to talk to you guys about a uh, game I like to play, or I used to like to play, uh, DC Universe Online. Now, I want to say I started playing this game a while ago, maybe like PS3, um, and the game was really fun, but um, obviously at that point it wasn't online. Um, when they made it online and it became like cross-platform, I had been playing it on the PlayStation 4 for a little while, and then um, I think after the PlayStation 4, it became cross-platform, and I started really enjoying the game. Um, the DC Universe Online, what I enjoyed about it was the fact that the game itself was a really cool concept. Like, just to give you a little backdrop, um, basically, if I remember correctly, Lex Luthor does um i think he killed superman in the future or something like that and then he created these exobites because the future had all these villains or whatever the case might be and he brought it back to the present time and basically it create like these exobites cause anybody to become superhuman so I like the customization on the game. You can like have a character that has like flashes, super speed, but also has like I don't know rock powers and different powers. I just thought it was like really fun. Um, you have mentors in the game like Superman, Batman, Joker. You can be either a hero or a villain. The map is really big. Um, it's just to me, it's just really fun. There's raids. There's different bosses. There's um, you level up from like level one to level 30 and that's pretty much like the storyline of the game. And then past that, you're able to go into the actual game, which then you have to like level your gear up. Um, I can't say all good about this game though, because they introduced micro microtransactions to the game and it made the game not as fun. It's kind of pay to win now. So they used to have, like before, um, it wasn't so bad. Now it's gotten like out of control. They introduced these things called artifacts and you've got to spend like a crap ton of money or a crap ton of time playing this game. Like pretty much if you play this game outside of going to work, like you have no life. You have to like be on this game that much in order to make any type of progress with the, um, artifacts so a lot of people will like halfway grind it out but then halfway spend the money because it's just easier to deal with that way um the graphics really need like overhauling because it's they're pretty much using similar graphics to the graphics that they use for the playstation 3 which is kind of sad with the generational jumps and the um different the difference in, in the graphical capabilities of the newer games. Anyway, I don't want to keep uh, make this video too long because it takes forever to upload. Um, but like I said, uh, it's still a game I would recommend people to play because I enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot of factors to it. Like I said, the customization is really cool. You get the storylines of different um, DC characters that you may not have known the storylines to, different bosses, different areas. Like I said, the map is huge. You could literally play this game for a year straight and never get bored. Um, but like I said, the grindy part, mm, eh, not for me. Anyway, um, if you like what you heard in this video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Drop a comment. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions, I'd also appreciate that too. You guys have a great day.